Yo, are we rolling? Hey guys, it's Rena and yes, girl, what's up? I'm about to talk to you about something that is very important to me and it is my religion. I get a lot of questions about the things that I do and then the answer is always has something to do with my religion, which is Islam. I'm a proud Muslim, but I just want to explain some things that a lot of people don't get and a lot of people ask me about. There are going to be three topics that I will be discussing. It's going to be food, wardrobe, and relationships. One disclaimer is that just because I do these things doesn't mean all Muslim people do it. This is just how I was raised and how my mom has taught me to function. So let's get started. So the first topic is going to be food. When people go out to eat with me, they always see that I never order meat. I never order chicken, beef, pork, any of that. I always order seafood or if, if they don't have seafood, I order something with vegetables in it or something that I can eat. And the way that it works, people oftentimes think that I'm vegetarian, but I'm really not. I eat meat at home. My mom prepares it. And we do have to go to a butcher that is Muslim and it's going to be because the way that the meat is prepared we know for sure that it is acceptable in our religion. Um, the word for it is called halal H-A-L-A-L -A -A halal and basically what that means it is permissible in Islam so that means it is allowed in the religion of Islam and so people would ask me what is acceptable and basically this is just what I've researched on my own. I didn't get like a for sure answer on it, but I know that I can't eat something that has been abused. So when it comes to McDonald's, I've seen a lot of things from McDonald's where they abuse their animals and I just don't think that's right. As a person, like as a human, I don't. Well, I asked my mom how our meat is prepared, like halal meat is prepared, and they say that they just cut it by its head so it doesn't have to suffer or something like that but I'm not too sure why but all I know is that if it's not halal meat I can't eat it it's just not allowed to go through my digestive system okay another thing is I cannot eat pork um, people always say wow don't you miss bacon I can't miss something that I've never had before topic number two is gonna be wardrobe if you know me I don't wear shorts I don't wear things that show my legs I do my best not to wear things that show my legs I have worn shorts before, but I stopped doing that because I know that it's not right. I know that I need to be more modest in what I wear, so... The reason why I can't wear shorts is because a woman of Islam is supposed to be modest. She's supposed to cover herself from head to toe, pretty much. I just know that we're not supposed to show what our body looks like. We're supposed to have loose-fitting clothes, and we're supposed to wear a headscarf. I do get the constant question, Oh, I always see Muslim girls wearing... Uh, hijab but you but you don't and the reason why I don't is because I don't feel the need to just yet because I'm not ready for that sort of responsibility most people would say what's what's so what's the responsibility all you got to do is put a scarf on your head no it's really not that because when I step out the door in my hijab I'm representing Islam I'm not res I'm not just representing myself I am a woman of Islam and I'm going to carry myself like one, but I don't feel like I'm there yet. I don't think that I've reached that point in my life where I'm completely devoted and I really, 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 really want to get into it before I can put on the headscarf and represent Islam. We're just going to step into my third topic, which is relationships. As a Muslim person, you cannot have a boyfriend or girlfriend. A common question that I get is, how do you get married if you don't date? Um, I'm not really sure how because I'm not married yet. The way that I have it set up is that I told my mom I'm going to go out and find myself a husband. So, yeah. But I know that a lot of people in my family have been in arranged marriages. For example, my parents have been in an arranged marriage, their parents know each other, so boom, bam, done, they're married, they got three beautiful kids, I'm the most beautiful, I'm just like, I personally think that they are a very strong couple, they work with each other very well, they're very compatible, 
they, I think, are very lucky to have each other. My dad is absolutely wonderful. Um, my mom is, is a woman. She's a very strong woman. My mom is a very strong woman. She takes care of her family so well and that I wish I could be half the mother she is one day. And I guess I just want to say thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom and Dad. That's pretty much the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys understood everything that I was saying. So, yeah. So, have a great day, guys. Positive vibes only. No negative ones. Because positivity makes the world go round.